Alrighty, well, good morning everybody. Well, I just finished up my stream about 15-20 minutes ago, and I wanted to go ahead and do a showcase of a, of a new team that I, I didn't, it's, technically it's not mine. Um, a guy named Chris Purpose was the inventor of this team. Um, and then, um, then DJ Screw, one of my, one of my longest standing regulars on my stream, he kind of showed it to me, or he actually showed me the uh, YouTube link. So, but um, I thought I'd I thought I'd go ahead and kind of demonstrate it on um on my video as well. So, so yeah, just handing out the credit when the credit is due. So, and uh, also like usual, I'm gonna be having some uh, music running in the background. This is just the next album that came up on my my random playlist. It's Dianara. Uh, the Glowing Palace. So. Let me go and get that fired up. Okay, so. And hang on, I gotta, I gotta reset stuff. Oh, it was over here. There it is. So. I don't know. I don't know what he called it, but I just call it the king and or the queen and king, which just made sense at the time. But I might, if I, I might explain more about it as as um uh, as this video goes on. But uh, this is actually going to be one of those uh, teams where Queen Beatrix, like an all-time classic here, it's actually going to be um. In more of a support role than an actual like straight up damage dealer. So where most of the work, um, barring a few exceptions here and there, is actually gonna be done by this guy here, the Dragon King. I managed to acquire him uh, yesterday, I think. So I got a big thing here is uh he, the big one here is he gets two magic. Whatever, uh, matching four or more gems. And then he can destroy all gems of a chosen color. Um, and there's... There's gonna be a drawback or two on this. I'll explain more later. All enemies of that color take true damage and are, uh, mana drained, silenced, and frozen. So yeah, some pretty serious shit there. And then the rest, you know... Ah, uh, Wanda Stars. So, and another all-time classic, Leprechaun. Then, uh, we'll... We'll go ahead and try Broken Spire. Now, now, like I said a few moments ago, one, uh, one drawback of the Grey King, because of how his ability works, it's gotta be very team dependent like this is it's less ideal but still doable like you want to have as many troops of one color as possible in order to get the most out of this ability whereas like I said I got two red two blue so and then but yeah, you want as much color overlap as possible. It was uh, red and blue, and since my cursor is here at the moment, and we got top and bottom guy are silenced. Now, I was talking about this during my stream. Another little drawback of having Great King, although not nearly as bad as say Jewel Golem, where you're constantly having to like, you're having to like either use my controller to all the way down here because I got to get this very specific gem and 
I have to go over here and grab this and or have to use my mouse and you have to go like you have to click like very specific gems in specific spots he kind of has this but not nearly as bad because you can um it can be any color gem anywhere on the board so it's not nearly as tedious but yeah um the whole entire team is now silenced mana drain and frozen and then again all-time classic he she spits out some green and brown gems uh great king will be using the brown ones like that so it's like i said a few minutes ago this is one of those few teams i can think of where queen bee is actually going to be playing a support role and like most all other teams i have with her in it she's like the main damage dealer so not so much with this team Once again, a little bit on the tough side, but still doable. possible but uh, I'm usually in too much of a hurry to really really pay attention so when he's up you know it might you know it might be a good idea to set it up in such a way as you know so when the uh, gems fall you'll get more matches but like I said I'm usually in a I'm usually in too much of a hurry to really pay attention Finished it off. And now um another another big drawback with this is um elves can create a rural problem for uh, for this team. Why? Because a lot of the a lot of elves are immune to mana drain, silence. Um So in order, I'd have to, I'd have to, I'd have to stun it off. I'd have to stun them first. So, so yeah, it's you can't. I wouldn't be able to use this team everywhere. But um, uh, let me uh, let me try them out in PvP. I was doing this earlier today. So, and here we got, we got three blue. And then um, normally I'd steer clear of elementalist classes. But I figured since I have, um, I have Wanda Stars and Queen Bee, Things like this might be uh, might be a bit more doable. And I'm gonna 
go ahead and take the poor match. That helped. So, blue. Another nice little perk. This is um this is Oh, there's a way I was wanting to explain it. Basically, I think this gets around submerged. Because it's the wording might be a little confusing. Yeah, it's it's targeting each enemy of that color individually. this team here yeah so I this is definitely undoable because you only have oh, two green um oh wow never mind two green two red two brown and kind of on the border but let's go ahead and do it anyway Got a good starting board. Yeah, string fiddler's immune to silence, so let's go with brown. Basically won the game after that. And again, um, maybe not him, but yeah. Same thing, he's an elf. Another elf. He's completely impervious. I'd have to pray for a bunch of four matches with this one. Looks like they're not forthcoming. Yeah, this was a bad one. I'm thinking purple. Yes. Okay, yeah. Should not have bothered. So, here, we'll go with this one. Going for that pity win. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, 
kind of a bad PvP demo. But this is a good one right here. Three of them are green, so... should be silenced. really need a we they really need to rework this MPP system. <sighs> okay, so I just wanted to do a quicky dicky demo of that team, so, so yeah, props to uh Chris Purpose for coming up with that and DJ Screw for showing it to me. So but otherwise um that otherwise that'll what Otherwise, that'll do it for me. Uh, I need to get back on on my blogging and, and all that other, all that other stuff. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.